the half marathon, 21.1 kilometers, 13.1 miles. This racing distance is one of the most unique and challenging disciplines in running, as elite speed and extreme endurance are absolute necessities in order to be successful. The current world record stands at 58 minutes and 1 second, set by the Kenyan athlete Jeffrey Kamworo on September 15th of 2019. This half marathon performance was stunning as Kamoro averaged 4 minutes 25.33 seconds per mile or 2 minutes 44.99 seconds per kilometer. This is the kind of pace you typically see on the track, however on the streets of Copenhagen, Denmark, he ran a pace rarely seen in racing distances over 5 kilometers. Only adding to the drama of this incredible world record is that Kamoro's 5 kilometer splits only got faster as the race progressed. For his first 5K, he ran a time of 13 minutes and 51 seconds. This time is already fantastic, but his pace only got faster. For his second 5 kilometers, he ran a time of 13 minutes 41 seconds. And then for his third 5K, Camoro turned on the afterburners and ran a blistering time of 13 minutes and 31 seconds. Simply amazing. It was at this point that Camoro solidified his world record run as his pace was well over 10 seconds faster than the previous world record pace. He only needed a 14 minute and 4 second final 5 kilometers, and in true record breaking style, he cruised home easily to a new all time best with a final 5k of 13 minutes and 56 seconds. This performance was simply incredible, but it was also expected as Kermoro was now the three time defending world half marathon champion as well as a two time world cross country champion. Indeed, this incredible Kenyan athlete ran a time that's quite difficult to believe, but how exactly did we get here? What does the history of the half marathon world record look like, and which athletes brought with them the biggest changes? Unlike many other racing distances, the half marathon has somewhat of a complicated past. According to World Athletics, the first world record that was officially recognized only goes back to 1998, and this performance was Paul Turgot's time of 59 minutes and 17 seconds. Now, this was certainly a solid performance run by one of the all-time greats in distance running, but clearly, there were many more half-marathon breakthroughs before 1998. So, for the purposes of this video, we'll be going back as far as we can to relive the full magic of the half-marathon distance. The first documented half marathon world record goes back to April 9th of 1960, where Brian Hill Cottingham ran a time of 1 hour 7 minutes and 1 second. For 1960, this was a very respectable time, but very soon after, the world record would rapidly go down. In 1965, Ron Hill ran a time of 1 hour 5 minutes and 44 seconds, and he ran this time at the Freckleton Half Marathon. This time improved on the previous mark by well over one minute, but then just one year later in the exact same race, fellow countryman Pete Rivald ran a time of one hour five minutes and 42 seconds, taking down Hill's record by just two seconds. These times were certainly incredible, but there is an important distinction to realize about these times, and that's that at the 1964 Olympic Games, the Ethiopian legend Abibi Bakila split through the half marathon with a time of 1 hour 4 minutes and 28 seconds, and this time was on his way to running a full marathon. This split was well over 1 minute faster than either Hill or Rivald, but since it was part of a full marathon performance, many different institutions disqualified this time as a world record for the half marathon. However, for the purposes of this video, Bakila's time clearly deserves recognition. Therefore, this half marathon split will officially be recognized as the half marathon world record, at least for the purposes of this video. Also, this performance from Bakila broke the full marathon world record by over 1 minute and 40 seconds, clearly making it one of the most impressive performances in the history of running. For three years, Bakila's half marathon time stood strong. However, on December 3, 1967, one unbelievably talented Australian athlete ran a time so fast that it stood unrelenting for another 10 years. This runner was Derek Clayton, who, just like Bakila, split a super-fast half-marathon en route to a full marathon. 
In the 1967 Fukuoka Marathon, located in Japan, Clayton split a half-marathon time of 1 hour 3 minutes and 22 seconds, a split that was well over 1 minute faster than the great Abibi Bakila. And just like his Ethiopian counterpart, Clayton also went on to break the full marathon world record, running a time of 2 hours 9 minutes and 36 seconds, making Clayton the first athlete to ever run under 2 hours and 10 minutes for the full marathon. From 1970 through 1976, three runners got quite close to Clayton's world record, but they still couldn't reach his time. However, on February 6th of 1977, one of the strangest world record-breaking days took place, where two separate runners both broke Clayton's world record on the exact same day. The first athlete to break the record was Ethiopian Miritz Yifter, also known as Yifter the Shifter, for his devastating finishing kick. With a performance of 1 hour 2 minutes and 57 seconds, he became the first athlete to ever run under 63 minutes for the half marathon. But as we previously mentioned, on the exact same day, another runner ran even faster. Now it's unclear as to whether or not Yifter's time was run before this other athlete, but they're both recognized as official world records. This other athlete was Toshihiro Matsumoto, who ran a time of 1 hour 2 minutes and 37 seconds, taking down Yifter's new world record by a full 20 seconds. Sadly, no pictures or videos of Matsumoto's performance exist, but his world record makes him the only Japanese athlete to ever hold the world record for the half marathon. For the next 10 years, world record times continued to drop. However, this racing distance still wasn't getting much attention. That is, until the one hour barrier became a real possibility. On January 24th of 1993, Steve Monaghetti from Australia ran a time of one hour and six seconds, a time that was agonizingly close to the one hour barrier. With this new time frame just a few seconds in front of the entire running world, athletes from all over attempted to break this barrier. And finally, on April 3rd of 1993, one runner was finally able to run under one hour, and that athlete was Kenyan runner Moses Tanui, who ran a time of 59 minutes and 47 seconds. For over 30 years, no athlete was able to break the one hour mark, but in only his fourth half marathon of his racing career, he became the new face of not just the half marathon, but also the marathon, as he went on to have great success over the 26.2 mile distance. Now with the one hour barrier broken, the possibility seemed endless, and in a very similar fashion to the four minute mile breakthrough, new athletes continued to lower this record at a rapidly increasing pace. It was also around this time that racing footage actually began to emerge, as the half marathon was now more of a mainstream running event. The next big breakthrough came on March 15th of 1998, when the Portuguese runner Antonio Pinto ran a time of 59 minutes and 43 seconds, lowering the previous world record by four full seconds. This performance was actually quite amazing, as he dropped the entire field over the final five kilometers. Then over the final 200 meters, he threw down a solid sprint finish, which ultimately brought him this new world record time. This performance was certainly incredible, but amazingly, this new time only stood for 20 days. On April 4th of 1998, Kenyan runner Paul Turgat improved on Pinto's time by a staggering margin of 26 seconds, lowering the new all-time best down to 59 minutes and 17 seconds. Turgat's time was a massive improvement on the previous mark, and many saw this time as one of those records that could potentially stand for close to 10 years. That is, until Turgat broke his own world record just two years later. On March 26th of the year 2000, he again ran a sensational time of 59 minutes and 6 seconds, improving on his own world record by 11 seconds. And just like Pinto back in 1998, he ran this time at the Lisbon Half Marathon located in Portugal. Just like he had done countless times before, Turgat used his world-class strength to slowly pull away from the field. But for this particular race, he also ran a very solid closing 200 meters, which showed him grinding away at a very quick pace. Also, it's worth mentioning that the on-screen timer and the physical clock at the finish line were a full five seconds apart, which has to be one of the biggest discrepancies in race timing history. 
Regardless of the potential timing confusions from this race, this performance was quickly recognized as the new official half marathon world record, and just like his previous mark of 59 minutes and 17 seconds, many saw this as the new benchmark for the half marathon. After Turgot ran this time, years and years continued to pass and there were no new records. But just five years later, one runner came along, who many consider to be the greatest half marathon athlete to ever live. On September 18th of 2005, Zersene Tedese of Eritrea ran a time of 59 minutes and 5 seconds, finally breaking Turgot's world record by just one second. At this point in the half marathon, the new target was obvious, to break 59 minutes. To do this, a runner would need to average faster than 2 minutes and 48 seconds per kilometer, or faster than 4 minutes and 30 seconds per mile. And while many saw this task as nearly impossible, one runner was ready to take up this challenge, and that runner was one of the greatest distance runners to ever live, Haile Gavrasilasi. On January 15th of 2006, Haile took to the streets of Phoenix, Arizona, where he set his sights on breaking the existing world record. It should be noted that before this world record attempt, he had already broken a total of 20 world records, ranging from the 2,000 meters up to the 20K. Obviously, he was an ideal candidate to break this world record time, and in classic Haile style, he majestically became the first person to ever break the 59-minute barrier, running a time of 58 minutes and 55 seconds. This time was also one of those performances that seemed almost untouchable, and many wondered just how long this world record would last. But to the surprise of many, it only took one year for an athlete to break this time. On February 9th of 2007, Kenyan runner Sammy Wanjiru emerged as the new half marathon king, running a time of 58 minutes and 53 seconds. This time was absolutely sensational, as Wanjiru was relatively new to the half marathon. However, he still clearly had much more left to prove, and just one month later on March 17th, he lowered his own world record again, running a crazy fast time of 58 minutes and 33 seconds. Again, following this world record, many saw this time as an insurmountable achievement. I mean, it took over 20 seconds off the time that Geber Selassie had run, so with such a huge leap in the world record, this time must be getting close to the maximum potential, right? Well, not exactly. Because just three years later, the great Zersene Tedese ran one of the most incredible half marathon performances in the history of the event. Again at the Lisbon Half Marathon, Tedese found a running rhythm that was rarely seen on the roads. Through the first 20 kilometers, he had absolutely obliterated the rest of the field, and he had also run each 5k split in well under 14 minutes. This was one of those performances that completely buried the competition, and as Tedesi got closer and closer to the finish line, it became evident that the world record was a real possibility. Over the final few minutes, Tedesi was right at world record pace, but with a ridiculously fast stride pattern which made him look like he was sprinting, Tedesi was finally able to take down Wanjiru's world record. With a finishing time of 58 minutes and 23 seconds, Tedese once again reclaimed the half marathon world record, and this time improved on the world record by 10 full seconds. This performance was unreal, as he not only broke the previous world record mark, but he beat the closest competitor by 1 minute and 24 seconds. Just one year later in the exact same race, Tedesi ran a time of 58 minutes and 31 seconds, a time that was again faster than Sammy Wanjiru, but it fell just 8 seconds short of breaking his own world record. For close to a full decade, Tedesi was on top of the marathon world, and even though many tried, no one could even get close to his time. That is, until October 28th of 2018, where Abraham Kiptum ran a time of 58 minutes and 18 seconds. However, this time has since been disqualified as a world record, as Kiptum was found in violation of anti-doping regulations. So even though his time was faster than Tedese, it was quickly revoked as a world record run. This brings us back to the current world record, which stands at 58 minutes and 1 second, held by the Kenyan runner Jeffrey Camoro. As we previously discussed, Camoro's pace was simply incredible, but like many other races before his, it was agonizingly close to breaking through a huge barrier, 
and that barrier is the 57 minute mark. So the question now is who will finally be the athlete to break through this 58 minute barrier and who will become the new face of the half marathon world record? Thanks for watching everyone, and a special thank you to all of our Patreon followers. If you'd like to join to see even more running content, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Thanks again everyone, and as always, until next time.